All right, welcome back. So, today we are going to discuss about define sharing rules. So, what is sharing rules? So, we can decide a rule or a criteria or a rule on how records can be shared with other people based on how we decide we want to do it. So for our swim kids example, I have bring up an example here on our blackboard. So swimming kids student who passed level 10, so they have completed their uh, level 10 swimming lessons can be viewed by the swimming instructor manager. Why? So say um, a particular student has completed all the levels, level 1 all through level 10. Now he or she can become a swimming instructor or a lifeguard. So whenever somebody completed level 10 and successfully passed level 10, the swimming instructor manager would want to see the less uh, the opportunity of that particular swimming lesson. So the swimming instructor manager can see the notes. Did the student pass really good? And then can decide further if the manager wants to recruit the swimming kids student to become either maybe a lifeguard or a swimming instructor. So let's do that. So whenever a, a swimming kid student completed level 10, we want to share the swimming lesson, which is the opportunity record to who? To the swimming instructor manager. So the swimming instructor manager can approach or contact that student or the parent and ask them, would you be interested to becoming a lifeguard in this particular swimming pool? Or maybe teach other kids how to swim. So that is a um, sharing rule. Let's go ahead and dive in and create this sharing rule. So back to our trailhead. I'm going to my hands-on org. and dive into our admin intermediate playground so as usual to do configurations where do we go the gear icon which is set up here i'm going to go to setup and then sharing rules or sharing settings all right so back to our notes where what do we want to do we want to share the swimming lesson, which is the opportunity because all the swimming lessons are recorded in the opportunity object. We want a criteria based sharing rule. Okay, so this is pretty simple and please follow along. So on the sharing settings under setup here, I am going to go to opportunity sharing rules here opportunity sharing rules and hit new so I'm going to label this one swimming instructor candidate and what is the rule type the rule type can be either based on a record owner or based on criteria so on our example it is based on criteria so what is based on a uh, record owner is who owns the record right if the record is owned by a particular user and then you can define the sharing rule but we are going to base the rule on a criteria so i'm going to choose that and then what are our criterias the criteria the swim kids level has to be 10 and they have to pass and then basically share that record with the swimming instructor manager so that's how we do it so field 
the swim kits level here has to be 10. You can choose there. It has to be 10 and insert. And then they have to pass. Pass has to equals true. True that, right? And insert. That's basically the two criteria that has to be met. And then what do we do if this is met? Select the users to share with. So we're also going to talk about public groups on the trail. But now we are just going to choose the roles. Only the roles but not the sub subordinates. We don't want to share the record with all the swimming instructors. No. But just with the swimming instructor manager, right? So just one role, not the subordinate, and with the manager. There. And what is the access? Do we want to have the manager to read only or read and write? Read only because the manager will want to see the information. They do not need to edit the swimming lesson because it's, it's already done and they just need to see it. So I'm going to keep it read only and save yes it's going to say it's going to recalculate the sharing access of all the records and it's going to take a while now especially when you are managing or administrating an organization that has a lot of records maybe hundreds of thousands or millions of records or billions of records it will take hours or day sometime if it's so many data but this trailhead almost has no data or maybe just a couple hundred so it's going to take a few seconds but keep that in mind if you change or uh, make new criteria of a sharing rule it will recalculate and it takes a while okay so once you hit okay it's going to recalculate so you can go to background jobs to monitor the progress to, uh, of a OWD or organization wide default or a parallel sharing calculation. So if I right click open a new tab, you can see how it's going. Sharing rule created. See here it's completed. So it's done because we have no data, just a couple hundred, which is nothing for Salesforce, right? So that's done. I'm going to close that. So that's how you create a um, sharing rule for any object on Salesforce. You can define it. Okay. So let's go back and discuss about the other things you can do. So extend access with sharing rules. We can decide share what record, right? And then share with who, what kind of access just to read only or read or write. Uh, should we use a sharing rule or not? So this is an example of the case where a sharing rule would be very beneficial to be used. It's um, a job recruitment story, right? Just like what we did with the swimming kids. We want to recruit or potentially recruit the swimming kids student who passed level 10 swimming lessons to become either a lifeguard or a swimming instructor. The same story here, because of this case, it would be very beneficial to use sharing rule, right? So what about a public group here? Hmm? So for our example, if I go back here and hit edit just to see, uh, just to show you, it's pretty simple, right? I just want to share with one person, a swimming instructor manager. But what, is, what if it's a more complex situation? For example, if the student is located in a particular city, I want to share um, that record to the swimming instructor manager in that particular area, not everybody. So if the student just um, complete level 10 in Vancouver, I don't want the record to be shared with swimming instructor managers in Toronto or a whole other province or state. It doesn't relate, right? So 
there are many complex situations where you need groups or here is public groups so what is a public group public group is where you mix and match who will uh, get the sharing so you can mix roles roles and subordinates a particular user you can mix and match there let me uh, go with you um, we are not going to create one but i'm going to show you public groups here we can create new so you can you can mix and match public groups with other public groups you have created before with roles right you can mix and match and then you can also add let, let's let's pick some so for example i am going to add the manager also i don't know the marketing so you can mix and match who will get it right the ceo and then you can also use um, and subordinates right of who let's pick one here customer support and then you can mix and match with particular users even right with jimmy with allison and you can also de uh, add delegated groups which we don't have yet so it's a mix and match situation for complex cases which in our story of swimming kids program we don't have that kind of complex situation so we won't be using it but you can see you can mix and match and then you can decide after you create the public group and then you can decide to share a particular record with this mix and match public group so you get the idea and then you can define the sharing rule which we just did and that's pretty much it so pretty straightforward right okay so let's do the challenge already so challenge requirement create a custom field on the project object it's pick list field label priority okay let's go ahead and do that i'm going to go here object manager so we are now do, uh, doing the challenge on the project we want to create a new field a new pick list field pick list um, this one and then next we want to name it priority enter the values ourselves high medium and low So this is the project, right? If you have a project, is it a high priority, a medium priority, or a low priority project? And then make the field visible to all profiles and add it to, to the project page layout. Let's do that. So I'm going to hit next to all profile visible and add the page layout. Okay, that is done. So create a sharing rule for the project object. Label rule name can be anything you choose. The rule should provide access if priority is high. So if the priority of the project is high, give access to training coordinator and then access should be read only. And do not set the OWD or organization while defaults for project to public read right it says do not okay don't misread that do not so we have to change this to private so let's go ahead and do that so go back to our setup and home and we go to do you remember sharing sharing is caring sharing settings like i'm sharing the knowledge here is i'm caring for your future you have to have a better future especially with all the automations going on in the f future so this kind of skills would be helpful because you will program automation you will be the driver of all kinds of automation so you will be very helpful for other people who wants to automate stuff right so we are going to create <coughs> excuse me a sharing rule for the project sharing rule at the bottom here new project 
um, share high priority project. Okay, so based on the criteria, remember, it says if the priority is high, share it with the training coordinator and it has to be read only. I go back here. <coughs> if the priority equals choose there high and then basically share with a role which is the training coordinator. I think we have created here, uh, here training coordinator and access level is read only <coughs> and yes it will take some time and we've set that up <coughs> let's check the background jobs and make sure it's completed so our challenge can be verified I'm just going to make sure and it says completed 100% so I'm going to close that out and now we are going to go organization wild wide wide defaults and we want to make sure project is private see we've done this in the previous trail module we have to set this to private and not public so we have actually done that right so that's basically it for defining sharing rules this is the end of the data security module now we have just touched the surface of the whole data security module on Salesforce. When you are working on your own org, on your own organization now or later on, you might have way more complicated, you know, stories or cases. So if you are confused about any um, anything you need to apply that you need to enforce, you can always ask me at zone.io, jimmy at zone.io or reach out to the Salesforce community and they have a very good responsive forum. Well, not super responsive, but they do actually reply um, after a few days sometime or weeks if it's a difficult question. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, reach out to me. I would be glad to help you. And let's do the bada bing bada boom now. Check challenge to earn 500 points and I'll see you on the next section, actually. Bada bing, bada boom. And good job, guys. Come on. Give me the woohoo badge. We have a new badge because we just completed woohoo. Check that out. Bam. I'll see you on the next trail.